We are back starting our second Football Manager 21 save. And this one will be a Bielsa-styled journeyman. So those of you that uh, have been on my channel for a while have picked up on the fact that I am a huge Leeds United fan. And uh, I did a Leeds United save for the FM21 beta. So I was trying to think, we're doing the single team save, and I typically do a journeyman every year, but I wanted to do something a little differently. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to pull this off. It may turn out to be the worst decision in the history of my channel. And if it is, it is. But what I'm doing, let's take a look at my profile. So I have created a profile and instead of, typically I start with just a very low end, no experience, we start from the ground floor. I wanted to do something a little different because Bielsa was actually a player, started coaching, and you know, he went with Newell's old boys, was his, you know, I think I think was his first coaching job, or at least his first big one. And I'm not going to follow his path. That's not the goal here. Um, and if you're looking for one like that, Aussie Villa did a really good one back in FM20. You ought to check it out. But uh, where he followed a direct path for, uh, for a coach. I'm going to try to be more in the mold of Marcelo Bielsa. So what we've done is in the attributes, mostly in the mental Adaptability, so we can move around. Determination, which is getting your way with the board, which Bielsa has a way of doing, so I wanted that relatively high. Uh, player knowledge for senior players. When he goes in, he knows everything about everybody on that club. Now, I had to take some points away because he does know about his youth teams, but I had to borrow points because... I wanted a high level of discipline. Players don't really complain that play for him. They do the training that he asks them to do. Uh, man management, interacting with players, and motivating. So high, you know, high end motivating, but you know, very, very into the mental side of the game. And you know, more into the fitness because you know you have to be very fit to run his his system. Uh, tactical, he's considered a ta tactical and technical genius. Uh, we're taking away from the mental side, uh, and but can work with youngsters because he does like to bring uh, U23s into his side at Leeds and historically. So that's why we went with this setup. Now to get these ratings, we had to start off with a B license. So it's we're not super high end. We're, we're, you know, in that two and a half, two and three quarter star range. And I've created myself with which uh, as an American with French ancestry. So those are the two backgrounds that we have. But I, I did go specifically with high adaptability to allow us a little easier time to move around. So if you look at Beals's career, he really hasn't won a lot of silverware. But he is well-renowned and respected, especially in the coaching ranks. <coughs> but where he draws the line is he's very rough with his boards to some extent. So that's why I went for a high determination to be able to get your way with the board. I want to be able to force some things with the board, improving training grounds, spending some money, uh, things of that nature. On the flip side, I'm going to have to be very diligent in staying within payroll budgets, managing finances to keep them on, on my good side for other things. But we also have seen him walk away from a job within two weeks. Uh, maybe it was even a couple of days, I forget, but it was, a uh, wasn't it in France? And he goes, and what happened was, is the board had made him some promises in the interview when they hired him, and he got there, and they didn't live up. And he said, you lied to me to get me to take the job. If you're not going to fulfill your end of the bargain, then I shouldn't have to fulfill mine. And that's why he left. So there may be jobs that I come in if they promise me something and then don't do it or won't do it. I may quit. I may resign from a job uh, you know, within a week 
We'll have to see. But uh, Bielsa never really stays very long at a job. Uh, we do see, you know, maybe it's, you know, burnout from the team, uh, from from training at that high of a fitness level. I don't know. But um, we're going to just kind of follow it along and see how it goes. And um, like I said, it's going to be modeled after Bielsa with that Bielsa twist of trying to get concessions from the board, trying to build up training facilities to as high as we can get them. And you may see rather than a traditional journeyman where we're, you know, it's a it's a step progression where you're always working higher, we may take a step back uh just to take a more interesting job. And much like Bielsa, we may not be looking for the best clubs that are available or that approaches we're going to be looking for clubs that interest us. And a case in point, Copenhagen looks very good, great training, secure. They were rich a minute ago, but, you know, just didn't get my attention. This one, this one, excellent training, rich, looks really good. It's a club I don't know anything about. That would be enticing. But they want us to play defensive soccer. Well, Bielsa is not a defensive soccer coach. He's a an attacking coach. So their philosophy doesn't match up with mine. So I'm not interested in that job. So we're also looking, you know, like they have great training, secure finances, not as high a rating, but maybe that's a place that we go. That one just came available. Play entertaining football. Okay, well, attacking and entertaining can be interchangeable, right? So that's one. So those are some things that we're going to be looking at as well when we take a job. Their philosophy has to match ours. We aren't going to go play uh, a defensive style, even though we hope we have a solid defense. But we're not going to go to a club where that's their priority, entertaining and attacking uh, Bill says more about, I think, the entertainment, the you know, the free flowing. Uh, doesn't mean we'll play his style tactically. Uh, you guys kind of see the styles that I've played historically. So you know, those are the kind of things that we're gonna do. But you know, that's kind of what I'm thinking in the back of my head here for this save. So just kind of wanted to give you guys a quick insight. I've just fired up the game, as I mentioned in my other save. I I had the uh, I did the plus 30, so this is a plus 30 save as well. That's that's what I do. So we're starting in the year 2050. I'm starting unemployed, looking for a job. Uh, you know, we can storyboard it that, you know, we've, I've stepped away from my last job and just looking for the next opportunity. But uh, anyway, hope you guys are interested in the concept. If you have any thoughts or ideas, uh, if, if you are a fan of Bielsa's or uh, you know, Guardiola's people that are, you know, that he has mentored and you have any any thoughts about maybe some house rules that we can put in place as far as what jobs to look at uh, beyond what I've talked about, when to, when to quit a job or walk away from a job, uh, all of those things. Let me know in the comments because I'm going to be looking for ideas that we can kind of build this save around and utilize to keep it in that Bielsa framework. Uh, again, without following an exact path, I don't have to go to South America and then come to come to Europe. You know, we can go to Asia and and Oceania if we want to. But you know, just uh, keep an open mind. And but I think uh, training facilities. Even though, even if they're not the best, he's not going to go somewhere where they have just poor training facilities. And he's going to have to be able to at least, you know, even the type of players. I mean, if you look at Leeds, honestly, we're playing mid-level, mid-table Premier League with the same players that were a mid to bottom half of the championship just a few years ago. So Bielsa has elevated them, and that's something that we can look to do is elevate our players. Uh, also, Bielsa tends to be very loyal to his players. If they work for him and perform, he'll give them every opportunity. So we're going to, you know, 
we'll be very careful in bringing new players in. It won't be full blown where at least we'll try to do that. I'll try to do that. That's going to be really difficult. But anyway, just, you know, anything that you guys can think about that might be interesting in that Bielsa mold, let me know because I'm open to ideas that we could kind of, you know, build a framework of rules or, or house rules uh, to do this save. Um, if I could do it real time where you guys could have input on jobs and whatnot, that would be great. But honestly, I, I know that's not going to happen the way that my schedule is, the way I have to play and record. So unfortunately, that's not going to be an option. I could post some things uh, for short term on Twitter. So if you are interested in that, uh, let me know in the comments. Make sure you follow me on Twitter, uh, and you know we can at least look at doing that. I can put up, hey, this is what's going on. I'm thinking about this, and you know, but it would be a short time frame. Like, you know, hey, I need to know here in the next couple hours, or maybe tonight, and I can pick up recording tomorrow. Things of that nature. So, uh, if you're interested in doing that, make sure you're following me on Twitter. Uh, and I will see about, po you know, let me know you're interested here in the comments. But anyway, let's get to it. I got to go find a job. So, uh, again, this is just the intro video to give you the framework. Hope you guys are excited. I'm kind of stoked about this one. I I didn't want to take the Alkamar because it's in uh, the Arita VC And my other saves already taken place in the Netherlands. So I didn't want to really cross over there um want to kind of go somewhere else so uh hey hit that like button subscribe if you don't mind and we will see you next episode hopefully with a job <laughs>